Hi, welcome to Mobile Fabric Video Tutorial Series. In this particular video, I would show you how you can use offline objects to provide offline capabilities to your app. So first, what is offline objects? Many of the apps that we use in our day-to-day -day life have offline capabilities, take it Gmail, Twitter or WhatsApp. All work offline very well. Even if we don't have network connectivity, we can see Twitter feeds, read WhatsApp messages and check mails. Offline objects is a lightweight synchronization capability provided by Kony to make your app work offline. Your next question would be, why do you need offline capabilities? I can give you two reasons. First, online app consumes a lot of data. You need to download same thing again and again and you need to send the whole payload even if you have made some minor changes. Secondly, you might have a project in a remote area which has no or poor network connectivity like wind turbine repairing or working in a tunnel or you want to save the data for later use. Traditionally, jobs like field agents require offline apps as they are traveling a lot or they may have to go to places with poor network connectivity. But nowadays, more and more enterprises are going for offline apps to improve efficiency. So for offline objects, the most basic thing you need is to have a relational object model. And with the help of this diagram, I will show you how the object model works. On one hand, we have a client app, a field service app with basic front-end logic, which interacts with the app data model which here is work order. And it has data in terms of order, address, tasks and materials. Basically, the objects with which the client app needs to interact with. And on the other hand, we have a backend with its own object structure. You can map these objects with one-to-one, one-to-many and many-to-one relationship. With the help of object model, you can set filters as to what data to send. Offline objects maintain a delta history of data in the local device. So you can send data for the object or object service that you have made changes to and not for the entire app. And in case there is an issue, you can easily roll back to the previous state. You have a full context awareness about what data is being synced. And to try out offline objects, you can download work order app from the Kony marketplace. So how is it different from online? In online mode, data is sent directly from client app to backend using HDK calls. All the create, read, update and delete operation happen directly between the client app and backend. Whereas in offline mode, these operations happen between the client app and a local database that is stored on the mobile device itself. So when device does not have a network connectivity, all the data is stored in the device DB. And once device gets network, client app makes a sync API call which sends all data stored in the device DB to backend. In this video, I am going to go the traditional way and show you how you can use offline objects in a field agent type role using a work order app. The app has two components, a desktop web component and a client component for mobile app. Consider a scenario where a supervisor is sitting in his office and he creates a work order through his desktop web app. He assigns it to a field agent who is going to service the request in an area which does not have a continuous network connectivity. So he needs an offline app. Whenever he comes into a network, all the work order data will be updated on the mobile device. As I have already mentioned, this app is already present in Kony Marketplace. You can go to Marketplace and search for work order management app. You will find both online app and the one which is offline enabled. For this demo, we are going to use the offline enabled app. You can read the descriptions, features used and prerequisites for using the app. Kindly visit the how-to section for a detailed step-by-step -step instruction for using the app. The app is built using a server piece which is a Kony Fabric app and a client piece which is a Kony Visualizer app. Let's first start with the Kony Fabric app and jump to the service configuration. We will go into the object section of the Fabric app. WM objects is the object service. So the object service has objects and objects will have methods. This is the object service definition. Here we have set the endpoint type as storage and you can also see the offline enable checkbox. Once you select the checkbox, it sets the metadata so that the client app knows it's offline enabled. There is an option to determine conflict resolution policy. The conflict resolution policy determines what happens when there is a conflict between the client update and a server update. So if you select client wins, the client update will be given preference and if you select server wins, server update will be given preference. Now we also have the ability to determine a custom conflict resolution policy. So once you select custom, a text area would appear where you can write your custom Java code for conflict resolution. We also have an option to enable upload cache. This is to avoid dupes on the server. It caches the payloads on server side for 24 hours. So if the same data is sent again, it can tell the client that it already have that data. Once you have made all the changes, you save the object service. Next we go into the object configuration part. Here you can see the object data model and mapping. So these role, tech work order, technician and work order all are objects. Each object to an object is distinguished using a primary key and a delta context. So in case of work order object, work order ID is the primary key and last update date time is the delta context. We also have a soft delete flag. So whenever you delete a record, it is marked for soft delete and its value is set to 1 in this field. Once you are done with the object configuration, you save the object. 
as you have made changes to the app, we will just publish it once again. Once you are done with the service configuration, we will jump onto the Kony Visualizer for modifying the client app. First thing to do here is link the Kony Fabric app. We will associate the work order management app that we have just updated. Next we will go and generate the object model. So what this object model does is, it gets all the metadata about the objects from the server. So it knows what are all the objects, their methods and relationships. Now the first step in invoking offline objects is initializing the setup. We will call the setup function in the pre-show of the first form which is login form. This setup will create a schema at the app launch itself. We are basically calling offline objects.setup. We can pass parameters in the setup function. We are also passing on setup success and on setup failed methods to determine what happens in case of success or failure of the setup method. Next we need to call the sync function. We have created a sync button on home screen to call sync function when the button is pressed. This will call the start sync function of the object service. Again we have the option to pass parameters to start sync function. Here we are passing download and upload batch sizes. Here we are also calling on sync success and on sync failure to determine what happens in case of success or failure of sync. Here we have an additional method on sync progress. As the name suggests, this method can be used to determine the sync progress. We can show a progress bar using this method. Once we have done that, we will go to the models and start changing the access from online to offline. So this is an existing function to get technician ID. It is calling an object model and doing a get all. Now we'll change its success mode to offline as we want to work it as offline app. So it will know it has to get data from the database and not to make a network call. At last, we'll just build the app or in this case run it on our mobile device. As I have already mentioned, this application has two components, a desktop app and a mobile app. Both are capable of running either online or offline. To show a cross functionality, we will run one app as online and other as offline. This is the desktop app, it is running as online. We have not made any changes to it. As the supervisor will be accessing this app through his office, so he would obviously have a network connection. We will log in into the app and create a new work order. In this scenario, we are assuming that one of the clients need his roof repaired. So the supervisor will create a priority work order for it. He will provide a name and description to the work order. He will also provide address and contact details. We also have the option of uploading binaries. So he can upload the image of a roof that needs to be repaired. So once he has created the work order, he will assign it to a technician. Let's say he assigns it to a technician named David Bloom. Now we will go into the client app. The technician David Bloom logs into the app and he will do a synchronization by clicking on the sync button to get the latest work orders. Once it's synchronized, it shows how many records are uploaded and downloaded. Once it is done, he checks his notification tray to see the latest work orders. He then goes to the particular work order that was assigned to him. He reads the description and he accepts that work order. Once he has accepted the work order, it is shown as in progress. He will again do a synchronization to upgrade the same status to the server. When a work order is accepted by a technician, it is shown as in progress in the supervisor queue along with the technician name. Now the technician works on the roof for a couple of days. When he is finished working on it, he uploads an image saying that the roof is fixed and he marks the work order as completed. Now he has to sync again to upload changes in the work order. So it shows the number of records uploaded. Now the supervisor on the desktop app will do a refresh to see the updated work orders. He sees that the work order has been marked as completed. So this was a walkthrough of how you can introduce offline capabilities to your app with the use of offline objects. For more information, you can visit the documentation in Kony Basecamp. You can find a link of offline objects in digital backend section of the page or you can follow the link mentioned here for getting started guide and API reference guide on offline objects. Thank you.